Steven Tyler demands that Donald Trump stop playing Aerosmith songs at his campaign rallies. Steven Tyler is trying to tell Donald Trump to dream on when it comes to using any of his songs. The Aerosmith singer once again hit out at the president and demanded that he stop using the band's songs at his rallies. Living on the Edge, Aerosmith's 1993 hit, was most recently played before the president's rally at the Charleston Civic Center in West Virginia on Tuesday. Tyler took to Twitter to express his continued frustration at Trump for using the band's songs. This is not about Dems versus Repub, he wrote. I do not let anyone use my songs without my permission. My music is for causes not for political campaigns or rallies. Protecting copyright and songwriters is what I've been fighting for even before this current administration took office. Tyler has taken his fight beyond Twitter, sending a cease and desist letter to the White House. The rock star is accusing Trump of willful infringement in broadcasting the song which he wrote with Joe Perry and Mark Hudson. Dinah LaPault, Tyler's attorney, is arguing that playing any of the band's songs gives the false impression that they support the president. As we have made clear numerous times, Mr. Trump is creating the false impression that our client has given his consent for the use of his music, and even that he endorses the presidency of Mr. Trump, LaPault wrote in a letter to the White House obtained by NBC. By using Livin' on the Edge without our client's permission, Mr. Trump is falsely implying that our client, once again, endorses his campaign and or his presidency, as evidenced by actual confusion seen from the reactions of our client's fans all over social media. This isn't the first time Tyler has publicly told Trump to leave his songs alone. In 2015 the Aerosmith leader demanded that he stop playing the hit Dream on during his 2015 election campaign. Tyler argued that Trump needed written permission in order to use his music and that the Republican candidate was violating his copyright. He was so enraged by the ordeal that Broadcast Music Inc., one of four United States performing rights organizations, pulled the song's public performance rights. A number of artists have publicly stated that they do not want Trump to use their music, including Adele, Twisted Sister, R.E.M., and George Harrison's estate.